I was in LA for a foray and I was wandering around in one of the canyons looking for mushrooms. Two people came up to me and they said, um, do you know Gary Linkoff? And they said, well, they needed Gary Linkoff to help them find the fly agaric, Amanita muscaria, which they knew grew in that canyon. They were preparing themselves to leave the planet. And they said, well, they thought the muscaria, the fly agaric, would show them the way. They continued to talk, and I told them, you know, that's who I was. And the one guy says, um, listen, you have to come over to my place, and I've got something I really have to share with you. So I had the night free, and I went over. So I walked into this guy's house, and I was a little nervous because I didn't know them. And he has a refrigerator full of drugs. I mean, like, he didn't have any normal food, like no loaf of bread, you know, no butter, um, nothing, just drugs. And he had a couple eggs. And um, he had guns all over his wall. Now, I live in New York City, and that's not the sort of thing we have on our wall. Um, we're not supposed to have handguns. Plus, there were a lot of dogs in the neighborhood barking their heads off, and they sounded angry. So this was, like, not a good scene. But he said... You're here, and you have to share this with us. So he makes up this, this thing with magic mushrooms, which I had not had, and um, I eat them, and then he sits me down on a sofa, and he says, just stare at me. And his entire living room, within a half an hour, turned from a multicolor into a, a kind of a desert gray, and he turned into a wolf sitting there staring at me. Uh, he said, I, you look apprehensive. Is there a problem? And I said, I couldn't begin to tell you what the problem is, but I was thinking, uh, this is the last day of my life, and this is like ending. He said, just like, let it go. And not being prepared for what was to come, I eventually relaxed. He said, do you see a light? And I said, yes. He says, what color is it? And I said, white. He said, well, are you going to follow it? I said, do I have a choice? And um, he said, well, that's what you should do. And then the, the roof opens up in, over my head. And before I know it, I'm out of my body. And I'm going, I'm not floating. I'm actually moving. So I follow this thing out. And we are going out into outer space. And somewhere near what he said was, must have been the Andromeda galaxy, I was getting cold. And he said, well, why don't you stop by the fire? He said, well, there's a fireplace out there. Okay. So I, um, I found it and sat down. I got warm. And I kept traveling. And after I don't know how many hours, he said, do you want to come back? And I was thinking, oh, you know, it's really nice out here. Why would I want to go back? But he thought it was a good idea. And um, so I start coming back. And... Um, Reentry wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, and there was L.A., and then there was this street, and there was this one house with a big hole in its roof, and I said, that must be where I go, and I looked down, and sure enough, there I was, sitting on the sofa, and it was just a matter of getting whatever it was of me out there back into that body, and that was the, essentially the whole night. And he wasn't a shaman, he wasn't a healer, he wasn't some kind of mystic guide. He was just a guy who was in the mountains who had this predilection for using a refrigerator full of drugs. And he had one he wanted to share with me, hoping, I think, to get me to join them to leave the planet. Um, which I wasn't ready to do, because I wasn't sure they had a real good game plan. Now, hey... That might be an interesting thing. Could you go through a wormhole with the mushroom and find yourself on a planet like Earth? It sounds like fantasy, whatever, but as I keep telling people, yesterday's science fiction is today's science, and things that we didn't think were possible are possible. It's just a matter of partially technology, but largely imagination.